everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we've got here today is a 32 inch Alba. Uh, it's an Alba LCD 3288HDF. And I just thought I'd do this video. It's a, it's a no power video. Um, the TV standby light is flashing. The TV set is not powering on. Now I've done a few of these recently, so I just thought I'd put this in a video to help someone who's got a similar problem. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll power the TV on, and I'll show you what we are getting. So we're getting the light that's coming up, the standby light. Um, hit the power button, it disappears. Just try and hit a couple more buttons here. The TV won't power on. Okay, and then what we get here is a flashing LED light, flashing standby light on the Alba. So it's not powering on whatsoever. So let's open this up and take a look to see what the problem might be. Okay guys, so we've taken the back of the TV off uh, and we've revealed the power board. Now there's not any blown capacitors on this board to make it look like an obvious fix. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to let you see the board a bit closer. Okay guys, so here's a closer look at the power board on the set. Now there's no obvious blown capacitors on this set. Um, however, this is a, a Vestel power supply board and these are just cheap made Chinese boards. And common problems on these boards to stop the power going on on the TV is your... Um, is your diodes okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take the power board out of the set and then we'll do some testing on this to, to see if we can find out what the problem is Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with the board is in inspect the board just to make sure that there's not any blown capacitors on the board. And it doesn't look like there is on this board. This board looks pretty good. So my first suspects are going to be these diodes. Now this board is a Vestal board. Let me just have a look here for the number. Yeah, so... You can see here, I've done quite a lot of these boards. And this board is a 17PW26-4. And I've seen that the common problems on these boards is these diodes. These diodes tend to go a bit funny and, and go, go leaky. So basically, they're only meant to pass through the current one way. If we test this with the, the multimeter and it's passing through both ways, then it means that the diodes are faulty. So we'll test these two in this one. We'll do some other tests on the board as well to see if we can find out what the problem is. Okay guys, so I've just got the meter here and I've set it to diode mode. This one here. 
Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to test these diodes to see if they're they're checking out okay. So the black the black lead always goes on to the the diode where the little silver line is. So you want to put the black on that side. Okay, so we're getting a reading of 323. Let's try this one. And we're getting a reading about the same on that one. So let's switch these round and try it on this side. Now it should not read this way. If it reads this way, then it's possible that it could be bad. Now that one's not reading that way. And neither is that one, so they look good. We'll try this diode in here. And it seems there's a short on this diode. Yeah, this diode is shorted out. So this diode seems bad because there's a short on the diode. You can hear it beeping on the meter when I'm testing that. As I said, I've checked these two diodes over here and these two diodes seem fine. Now, it's a common problem on these Vestal boards. They're just cheap made boards, but it's a common problem on these Vestal boards that these ones usually short out and it stops the TV going on. Um, uh, it seems that this one is completely out. So I reckon that's going to be the problem with this board, that this diode has failed. So we'll swap this diode over and that should fix the problem with the TV not switching on. Okay guys, so this is the board out of the Alba TV and what we've done there is we've tested the diodes on the board and we found that this one is not reading correctly and it's shown a short. So what we're going to do, we're just going to solder this one out just now. So we just, just look at where it is and turn the board over and we can see the points for this diode. Okay, and all we really want to do there is just put a bit of solder on your iron just to tin it. And you might just want to use some long nose pliers to grip onto the diode. If you just grip that on on one side. And then you find the points for the diode. That's it, it's coming out nice and easy there. So if you just apply the heat, that's the diode out there. So we've got two nice clean holes there if we can put the, the new diode in, in through. Okay, so now that we've got the diode out, we want to test it out of circuit just so we can confirm that the diode is bad. And as you can see, it's still reading as a short. So that would indicate to me that this diode is completely knackered. Okay, so next I've got a similar board here. It's actually the same model number on this board. Um, and I've tested these diodes on this board. And this is just a scrap board. I've taken bits off of this before, okay? So the same diodes are on this board, so I'm just going to take this one out and I'm going to put this one into that board. 
Okay, so just grab that with the long nose pliers. Nice bit of heat on there. Let's remove that one. Okay, so now we've taken this diode from an old board. So I'm just going to quickly test that. Making sure the negative goes on the side where the little silver line is. And that diode is testing out to be great. And it should not have any reading if I change the wires over to the other side. If it did have a reading, it would mean that the, the diode is leaking. And it would just cause problems with the, the TV set. But that diode's fine. So that checks out nice and fine. So we're just going to solder this into the board. And hopefully that will fix our problem. Okay, so here's the board. So we want to make sure that the diode goes in the right way. And the way to be able to tell is where the silver line is. If you put that in the negative side, there's a line on the board where the black line is. That's the negative. So make sure that you line it up and you put it in the correct way. Sometimes these can be a bit hard to get through. So you just want to make sure there's not any solder on the end. So if you just get the solder and just melt it straight. Like so. Okay, so there you go. That's just got both of the sides through on there. And just solder the diode in place, like so. Okay, so that's the diode soldered into the board. And just double check it to make sure it's in the correct way. As you can see, that looks good. Okay, so let's just put this power board back into the TV to see if it fixes our problem. Okay, so all cables are back on. Power. And I'll just spin this round. Now, let's see if changing that diode over has fixed our problem. Power light. I press the power now. Let's see if this goes on. There we go. Bingo. So there we go, guys. Changing the diode over on the power board has fixed this 32 inch Alba TV. 
If this has helped fix your TV, please give me a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.